Hola, ¿qué tal? Um, in my endeavors to um, make things easier for people to understand in Spanish, um, I've always wanted to talk about the uses of se, okay? The way that se is used in Spanish, because it's the most overused word in Spanish. If you've spent any time learning Spanish, you must be overwhelmed by the, the, the amount of se that you see everywhere. Sometimes with an accent, sometimes not. I can recall when I was first learning thinking, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. What's it about? Why? I always had this kind of like a, uh, a humorous idea in my mind of, of how they came about to use se so often in Spanish. And you know, you know, in Spain they have what's called the Academy, the Academia Real, I think it's called. And they make these decisions, they're the, the decision makers about the language and about what's acceptable. And they, they, they're like, to justify their existence every year, it seems like they just decide to take something out of the language, which is interesting, isn't it? You know, they keep stealing letters out of the alphabet. They keep stealing um, accents off, wor off words. And I think, why, why are you doing that? And it's, well, I suppose they have got nothing better to do except mess about um, with the language. And so I imagine kind of like um, a big meeting, you know, those meetings that go on where they decide, well, it's time that we, we need, we've got a few things to iron out in the academy. So they're all sitting there, all learned, you know, and there's this one person that has the agenda. Say, so, um, okay, so, um, Right, we have a few issues um, with some things that we want to say in Spanish, but we don't have a word for it. And I don't know, oh, really? Okay, oh, well, well let's, let's see what we can do. So we want to add things, do we? We don't want to take things away. That's a, that's a shame, it's a disappointment, isn't it? We're quite looking forward to taking something out. No, 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 we, we, need, well, we need to find a word to describe this kind of thing. Okay, let's, let's go. Well, you know when you want to say, like, oneself, um, you know, to shower oneself or to um, to uh, get oneself up. What could we use for that? Well, okay. Uh, you know, I've always liked say. Why don't we use say for oneself? There we go. Actually, that sounds quite nice. It's nice and short, isn't it? That makes it simple. Yeah, so when people are learning the language, they're not going to get too confused. Yeah, say oneself. Uh, perfect. So uh, can we have that in the minutes, please? Yeah. Okay. Say for oneself. Okay. Um, wait, wait, because we've also got um, his, his self or him, his self, herself, and and their selves. We haven't got a word for that as well. You just imagine somebody in the corner saying, "Okay, his self." herself, them, themselves. Uh, why don't we just use say? Um, would that not come conf cause confusion with, with oneself? Hombre, tal vez. But it's just, you know, I mean, see, we're, look, we're using say. Let's, it's only been used once. Come on, we could stick it in there. Mm -mm, okay. So like all of the selves, yeah, the, the, the one self and, and his self and her self and, and, and their selves. So, right, so we say say for the lot, yeah? Job lot. Okay. Okay. And then the little guy with the minutes. Okay, so moving on to the next uh, one. Um, we've got uh, the verb saber. Okay, to know. Look, nobody's happy with sabo. It's just, it doesn't flow. It sounds too much like sapo, toad. Nobody likes it. We need another word instead of sabo, I know. What about, what about using say there? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got it on all the others, oneself and himself and all of that. Um, that would that not be a bit confusing? Got an idea, got an idea. Why don't we put um, a little, Tilde, a little accent on, and that'll keep it right. Yeah, that'll keep everyone know. Accent, that means I know, lo sé, yeah? And then it won't mix up with all of those selves. 
Fair enough. Oh, are we all in agreement? Show of hands? Yeah, yeah, everyone's in agreement. Okay, can we have that in a minute, please? Uh, so not Sabo anymore. We don't like Sabo. Say. But with an accent for clarity. Okay, uh, next on the agenda. Well, um, look, we need to get away from this passive voice. What's a passive voice? Uh, so, ah, you don't know. Passive voices, you know when we say um, the building was built or um, the boy was uh, given something to eat. Ah, oh, the was with the, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, with the past participle, yeah, yeah. Look, we can't use that. And everybody sounds like a, t a tour guide. Everybody sounds like a museum guide. We need something that can take its place. All right, something that, that obviously is gonna be nice and clear so everybody knows it. Mm. What about, why don't we use say for that? Say, you wanna use say? instead of the passive voice, why not? But will it not be confused with all of the other says that we've got ourselves and not with Sabe, because that's got an accent on it, okay? <laughs> yeah, we, we were sharp there. Well, how would it work? Well, you know, instead of saying, uh, el edificio fue construido, the building was built, we would say, el edificio se construyó. How does that sound? That sounds good, doesn't it? You like the sound of that? I like the sound of that. El edificio se construyó. Mm -hmm. Okay. The boy was found in the old house. What about this? El chico se encontró en la casa vieja. Mm -hmm. so, so you want to use se with a verb uh, and it's, uh, uh, instead of the passive voice. Okay. Do you know, uh, somebody in the corner, I don't want to be devil's advocate, but I, I, I'm a bit worried that this is, you know, we're, we're getting a lot of says in here, you know, I mean, you've got to consider all the people that we, you know, are going to learn Spanish that might get a bit confused about this. Look, in context, you can't get confused with that. You know, you can't get confused. Or if you can, you shouldn't. And we're Spanish. We won't get confused, will we? Okay. All right, so, so um, vote for uh, pass, um, avoiding the passive voice with say. Okay, right, that's in the minutes as well. All right, so that's, are we done with uh, say? Is that it? Chairman says, is, are we done now? Because it's time for the, um, you know, it's getting close to la hora de comer. And, uh, you know, I think we've got to think about that. Uh, well, just a couple of other things. Um, we've got an issue with the, um, with the imperative uh, for the verb to be ser. You know, if you want to say to somebody, be good, or, or yeah, be good, you know, or, or, or be a man. Um, what could we use? Ser, and we want the imperative, the order, that command. Have we thought about say, using say? Again, okay, but we've got say everywhere. Yeah, but look, think of this, think of this. Why don't we, just so that it doesn't get confusing, why don't we put an accent over the A? Didn't we just do that with saber, with se? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in context, you're not going to get that mixed up, are you? So we could, you know, se bueno, be good, se un hombre, be a man. But with an accent, yeah, you can't get that mixed up. Everyone's thinking, oh God, it's time to eat. You know, so we're gonna, I wanna get out to eat. Look, yeah, all right, yeah, that's fine. Accent, yeah? Can we have that in the minutes, yeah? So, saber, say, with an accent, uh, imperative, sa uh, ser, with an accent. Right, are we done now? Well, actually, no, there's just, just a, a, another couple of points. Um, we've got a problem with, with, look, with this la la, this le lo, this les lo, uh, les los, we don't like it. It's too difficult to say, le lo, les lo. Uh, les la. Okay, we don't like it. We need something in its place. Thinking about the lunch. Uh, have you considered just replacing the le and the les with se? Just a minute, just a minute. Wait, what are you saying? You, you're saying to put se in there? So what would it be? Well, it would be like this, look. Se lo envió. He sent him it. It 
sounds nice, I'll give you that. It sounds, it just rolls off the tongue. Se lo envió. Se lo dijo. He told him it. Bloody hell. Oh, sorry about that. It's a meeting. Sorry about that. Well, look, I, I mean, what time is it? Is it? They're going to be putting their foot out. Okay. Se lo. So instead of le lo, eh, or, or la la, all of that, se lo. Good. Right, we're done. Are we done? Because quite frankly, I'm very good. Tengo mucha hambre. Muchísima hambre. Okay. No, no, uh, just one more, one more, one more. Look, um, we've got these reciprocal verbs, you know, like um, uh, they love one another. They love one another. Um, or or they, they, they aren't talking to one another. You know, what, what should we do with that? Well, to be frank, look, let's not mess around. It, it's, it's, why don't we just put say and then that's it. Yeah, we're on a roll. So what, what do you want to say? Like, um, Se aman. They love one another. Okay. Will that not get, be confused with like they love themselves? Maybe. But to be honest, well, what the hell now? You just, let's just put it in the minutes, right? Look, reciprocal verbs, they love one another. If you want to say one another, you say. All right. Are we done? Eh, sí, creo que sí. Pues ya, yeah, es la hora de comer, it's, it's lunchtime, we'll close that down. Let's have that in a minute, we'll release that next year, and quite frankly, I'm going on holiday, because when that gets out there, there'll be World War Three. Vale, entonces, hasta luego. Nos vemos. Que aproveche. And that ends the meeting. And so, I hope in that story, you've begun to see how say is used in the areas that it's used, okay? And all I can do is apologize deeply for the Spanish Academy and their incredible use of the same word in multiple situations. Hasta luego, chicos.